Compartments by Robert Phillips Which shall be final? Pine box in a concrete vault? Urn on a mantle? Last breath a rattle. Stuffed in a black body bag, he zipped from head to toe. At the nursing home, side drawn to prevent a fall, in a crib again. His dead wife's false teeth underfoot in their bedroom feel the piercing chill. Pink Flamingo Lawn, a Florida trailer park, one space he'll avoid. The box they gave him on retirement held a watch that measures decades. The new bifocals rest in their satin-lined case, his body coffined. Move to the suburbs. Crowded train at 7.02. Empty head at night. New playpen, new crib. Can't compete with the newness of the newborn child. Oak four-poster bed inherited from family. Jack Frost defrosted. Once he was pink-slipped. Dad helped out. A son's a son, son, from womb to tomb. Fourteen-foot ceilings, parquet floors, marble fireplace, proud first apartment. The Jack Frost Motel, its very name important for their honeymoon. Back seat of a car, cursing the inventor of nylon pantyhose. First job cubicle, just how many years before a window office? College quad at noon. Chapel bells, frat men, co-eds, no pocket money. His grandfather's barn. After it burned to the ground, the moon filled its space. His favorite tree. The leaves returned to branches. No, butterflies light. Closet where he hid to play with himself. None knew? Mothball orgasms. Chimney that he scaled naked to sweep for his dad. Blake's soot black urchin. The town swimming pool instructor. Throwing him in again and again. Kindergarten playground. Swings, slides, rings, jungle gym. Scraped knees. Molester. Red, blue, and green birds mobilize over his crib, its sides a tall fence. Two months premature, he incubates by light bulbs, like a baby chick. He is impatient, curled in fetal position, floating in darkness.